So you want to use Cloaks Plus with fabric. I get it, I love fabric mods, but there's no way that Cloaks Plus says that you can do it with fabric. If you look on the website, it says it works with any client that uses Optifine. But that's not entirely true. Yes, we're, I'm going to show you one way to do it with Optifine called OptiFabric, but the second way I'm going to show you how to do it without Optifine with another capes mod. So. Let's get started. First thing you need to do is to install Cloaks Plus. So how do you do that? We're gonna go to the Cloaks Plus Discord server. So on the Cloaks Plus website, cloaksplus.com, we can click on join the Discord or go to discord.gg slash cloaks. When you're in the Discord server, go to the installation category. And right now there is a, a channel called download. So here it'll tell you all the ways to download Cloaks Plus depending on your operating system. Since I am on Windows 10, I'm gonna go and just click download on the website and run this exe file. Once the installer is open, I'm going to click on install on the left hand side, check the EULA box and click install Cloaks Plus and there you go. Cloaks Plus is running, but we need to make sure that it works with fabric now. Let's get a cape first. You'll probably want to get your own Cloaks Plus cape first before trying it out so you know if it works by seeing your cape. Uh, hopefully that made sense. So what you're going to want to do is go to Minecraft and connect to verify.cloaksplus.com and click on join server. So what we're going to be doing is verifying our Discord account with our Minecraft account, basically linking them together so they know that you are you when doing all this stuff in Discord. So what we're going to do is slash verify in Minecraft and now you'll see we get this six digit code, six character code, which we will do in the Discord server. So if we go over to the Cloaks Plus Discord server, find the bot commands channel, we are going to do exclamation point verify your Minecraft username, mine is Zippytron, and then type in that code, so mine is 65 F8 A5, type that in, and now they're successfully linked together. But now how do you get a cape? Well, we're going to go over to the Cloak Catalog channel in the Discord server, and I'm going to scroll up and look for the cape that I would like. Here we go. Red, black, cloaks, plus cloak. <sighs> That's a mouthful. Anyways, I'm going to copy this command, actually, point catalog, red underscore black. So what we're going to do is go back to bot commands, type that in with my username after it, and now I will have the red, black, cloaks, plus cloak cape equipped. Now back to the tutorial. If you're using a vanilla launcher instead of a launcher like MultiMC, go over to fabricmc.net and you can download it right here. This is the fabric installer. This is the mod loader. That's what you're gonna be wanting to use. So instead of opening the installer, it's a similar process with MultiMC. Instead, I'm gonna create an instance. I'm gonna say I want 1.17.1. I'm just gonna call this cloaks plus opti fabric call this recording and there we go and now we're, I'm going to edit this instance so with the fabric installer with multi MC we're just going to choose uh, to install fabric and with opti fabric it doesn't actually support the latest version of fabric so what we're going to actually want to choose is 12.5 or not sorry not 12.5 11.7 click OK and there we go. So where do we find OptiFabric? What version of Optifine is compatible? So if we go to the OptiFabric website, we can download the latest version, which is 1.11.20. And on the OptiFine website, OptiFabric actually only supports uh, G9. So when we have both of those downloaded, we're just gonna move both of those mods over to the mods folder. So let's launch it up and see if it worked. So we have a look at my cape. As you can see, I have a Cloaks Plus cape, which I have chosen. And oh my gosh, this is great. If I press F3, you'll see in the top left corner, it says it is running fabric. This is not just Optifine, it is fabric. But if we go into the settings, like the video settings, you can see these are Optifine settings. It says running G9 Ultra. There we go. So this is Cloaks Plus with OptiFabric. But what about without Optifine? So to use Cloaks Plus and Fabric without Optifine, we're gonna wanna download Fabric Capes, which allows you to use uh, capes from other mods, such as Laby Mod, Minecraft Capes, and Optifine. So the way that this works is basically when you install Cloaks Plus, it hijacks the traffic from the Optifine servers or to the Optifine servers and redirects it to Cloaks Plus. So it's not Optifine that makes it special, it's the Optifine servers. So since Cloaks Plus hijacks them, any mod that displays Optifine Capes will show Cloaks Plus capes. So like I said, download Fabric Capes and it has two dependencies. 
Uh, one is Fabric API and the other one is Kotlin. I believe I'm saying that correctly. Anyways, you can download the latest versions of all of these um, as long as they're supported. So I'm currently on 1.17.1, so I'm downloading all the versions that are compatible. And let's go over to MultiMC. If you're not using MultiMC and using the Fabric installer, you can just install the latest version. So what we're going to do is create an instance. We're just going to call this Cloaks Plus Fabric and you'll see 1.17.1. And now we're gonna edit the instance and install, install Fabric and just do 12.5, the latest version. Now we're gonna drop the three mods into the mods folder and press launch to see if it worked. So if we look at my cape, you'll say, whoa, 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 that's your migrator cape, not the Cloaks Plus cape. Well, I'm gonna show you how to fix that. So we're gonna press escape click on options, skin customization, and now there's a new capes button. We're gonna click on that, and now you can see a whole bunch of cape settings. You can see the Optifine cape editor. You can also choose to see what types of capes you can see or use. Um, but what we're gonna do is just change the cape type from Minecraft to Optifine. You know how I told you how, ca how Capes Plus works and just basically changes how the Optifine servers are interpreted or basically hijacks it? Well, well when clicking on that, We'll look at our cape and boom, Cloaks Plus Cape. So another cool thing about this mod that you can't usually do with Optifine is that you can change your cape mid game. Usually you have to re-log and all that weird stuff just to change your cape. Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that without re-logging. Well, first you have to change the cape. So I'm gonna go to the cloak catalog and I want the glass cape. That sounds kind of cool. So I'm gonna copy that and in bot commands, I'm just gonna execute that command, wait for it to work. And now it says it's been successfully changed. So if I reopen the game, you'll say, whoa, it's not updated yet. Well, all you gotta do, options, skin customization, cape button. And now we're just gonna keep clicking on cape type until we see Optifine again. Once we do that, look at my cape. It has changed and now I have the glass cape. And if you saw with the cape textures, it also has the elytra stuff. So just like capes plus, if we right click on this, I now also have the glass cape. There you go, that's how you use Cloaks Plus with Fabric. I haven't seen many people talking about this because it's not a direct way of using it with Optifine, but I hope you guys really like this tutorial. Leave a like on this video, maybe consider subscribing, and also check out my socials in the description below. I hope to see you guys in another video soon, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.